Hello. I'm Peter. Where are you from? Originally. Have you ever had like an encounter like with a spirit or an apparition? Uh, once that was, it's weird. Um, my encounters mainly revolve around, um, having seen like something, what you, I guess you could call a UAF or a UFO or just, uh, missing time, um, circumstances. Um, but, uh, the one time that, uh, maybe, maybe twice we, there's debate on whether or not it's been once or twice that I've seen ghosts, but. Um, one time with the band and then one time when my sister-in-law was getting married at a church uh, near here in Wahlberg, North Carolina. Um, just the most random time of day to have a ghost sighting, but I can't explain it otherwise. I'll tell you. Um, okay. So my sister-in-law got married. Uh, the church was split into an old part and a new part, apparently. And I think I kind of knew it just by the style of the new parts of the church that um, where the altar and everything was for the actual wedding was the new part. And then the back part of the church where the reception area was, um, was an old part. And in the church, that part of the church, um, you know, bride and groom had been married, the reception had happened. So my mother-in-law asked me and uh, a couple of the groomsmen to carry out the presents to her car. Um the presence for the bride and groom because bride and groom had already driven off, you know, they left the premises. So now we've got to, you know, all these boxes that were given it as, you know, wedding gifts, we've got to take them all to my mother-in-law's car. And as we were doing that, I was walking past, had my hands full and I was walking past a wing where I looked to my right and I see um, a door that's open and a woman standing there in a checkerboard, uh, like pantsuit, kind of gray hair and glasses. And I took one step immediately. I nodded to her like, you know, if you're at the mall and you pass by a stranger, or you, you just co there's a cognizant thing that you do when you kind of nod to someone that you see out of your periphery. You know what I'm talking about? Like someone seeing out of yeah. your periphery, like, hey, I'm acknowledging that you're there. So I did that and like took a half a step. And Jay, I was like, oh, my God, I just saw through that woman into the banister of the door that was partially closed. I took another step. And immediately cold chills just shot through my body. Like matter of factly, there was something there that wasn't really there. And I'm walking and like behind me was one of the groomsmen who had their hands full too. were walking toward from the new part of the, or from the old part of the church out to where the cars are parked. And I look back and the person just keeps walking, like walks right past the wing that what would have been like a wing and then a doorway kind of, you know? Yeah and doesn't see it and i'm like look, i look at the person's face because it was he was one of the grooms and i barely knew him because it was my sister-in-law that was getting married to what is now my brother-in-law you know what i mean so yeah. it was one of his brothers and i didn't know how to address him about it because i think it was kind of like the whole family sort of religious so i didn't want to say hey dude did you just see that i didn't want to say that you know and another thing is is what if it what if you know what if he had seen it and, you know, didn't have, then all of a sudden, like, because he may be of a certain uh, religious type, he may immediately start thinking things that he doesn't need to think. You know, I don't like invading anyone's personal belief system with my uh, enjoyment of telling, telling them about sp supernatural occurrences. So I kept it to myself. I just kept walking, really freaked out kept walking and then i got in the car with my wife as we're pulling out of the parking lot that night i was like oh my god you're not going to believe what i saw and um so yeah that was the one time that i know i saw a ghost because i realized i nodded to a person who was transparent and who was more of a form than an actual person but of that form an older lady it by the way it was the nursery it was the sunday school room that I saw her in. So it's like an older lady, probably just there in spirit to look after kids or whatever, but definitely a checkerboard pantsuit, definitely gray hair and glasses. That's all I can remember. <laughs> but you know, like maybe it was like an old, uh, church mom that was there just to look after kids during Sunday school or something. I have no fucking clue, but definitely a ghost. <laughs>